Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we are gonna do some peak detection in our lab view program. So here, what we are gonna do is we are gonna define the threshold uh, to the peaks that are formed in our XY graph. So first we will have some data, then it will be drawn on our XY graph, and then the peaks uh, above the threshold value will be detected and drawn uh, in some other waveform graph. So to do that, first we will open our new VI and just place an XY graph for reference and then let's just stretch it out so that it will be more clearly visible and then we will place a waveform graph and similarly stretch it out a little bit more and there we have an XY graph and a waveform graph so now we will go to our plot diagram let's just open it out and then first we need some data to put on XY graph so I will not fetch any data from anywhere so I will use a random data which having some noise so we'll go to mathematics and uh, or signal processing uh, and there we will find out signal generation and here I will use periodic random noise though there are different types of noises like Gaussian noise, uniform noise, gamma noise or others but I'm right now using periodic random noise so I'll give it uh, the amplitude of let's just say 10 and then I have to sort out the data basically so I will use a for loop so now I will define how many peaks do I want or how many uh, points set points I define on my XY graph so using for loop I can define it by doing like this putting it inside and then creating 20 uh, number of iterations it means that the 20 points uh, set points will be generated so here I have to give it an x-axis and y-axis so that's why I will use a bundle function which means that the first input will be our x-axis and the second input will be our y-axis so here the inputs of x-axis will be our uh, the iteration like 0 1 2 3 up to 20 and then our output will be in the form of sorry uh, and the output will be connected in here which will give me a 2d array but if i just uh, turn it to last value then it means that now i have a 1d array so if i attach the output with my xy graph then if i run my program uh, random uh, data is generated from minus 100 to above 120 since it is a noise so we have to clear it out i want just the positive values and i need that if the values goes uh, below zero which means the negative values that values should be turned to zero so for that purpose i will just remove this wire and there i will use an index function so that it will extract the each value so i will give the index of 0 1 2 3 like it will extract uh, every each value from the array basically so I will set the condition that if the value goes less than zero which means that if it is a negative value then I'll select a case selector and say that if the values will be uh, negative then it will go zero otherwise it will send it as as it is so uh, now I will go to tunnel mode and set it to indexing because I want to create an array basically See, since it is a single value that is coming and now at the auto index tunnel mode all the values will be indexed in the form of 1D array and it will be sent it to an XY graph so now if I run my program all the values that will have a negative uh, or uh, the uh, negative value that will be converted to zero I can also change the lines as well as the points by changing from the properties let's just say these are the line and these are the properties so I will choose uh, the points as red marked as red and uh, the line width is just to increase 
so now we will shift on to our main purpose which is to detect uh, the peaks basically so for that purpose I will go to our signals processing and there on signal operation there we will find out P detector so we will implement this only our data basically which is in the form of y axis the amplitude so I will just fetch it out from this the wire here and then I will give it a threshold as a control and the next thing is I will create its locations create an indicator as well as create amplitudes and the next thing is create its 2D derivatives 2D derivatives are important to calculate uh, if you are further going to calculate the area of the peak and uh, and other things like uh, it's time to start and stop so the second derivatives will be helpful for that purpose I will just increase the size of the numbers of the threshold so that it will be more clearly visible to us and similarly I will place them in the form of the amplitudes in here, locations in here and the second derivatives as it is. So I will just elongate it so that the data sets will be more available and visible to us now if I run my program here it says that the amplitude is basically this at the location of 4 so if we watch on our graph we it, it is clearly visible that at the fourth point the peak is detected at the uh, above 0 so if we set out the value as 40 and now if we run our program it says that there are almost um, how many points one two three four five and six points six peaks basically that are detected above uh, 40 so if we watch out closely on our waveform graph we can see that above 40 there is the one that is at the point 3 which is at the point of 2.9888 zero is exactly giving its location and similarly at the 57 there is the point of 5 and the maximum is 135 we can sort out the other things you can watch out my other tutorials like exercises on arrays there you'll find out pretty much data how to uh, extract any numbers or what to do with the arrays basically so now we can also plot, plot that amplitudes on another waveform graph we will just select the output of the amplitude and give it to waveform graph so now if i run my program so there we will find out how many points are there so we can just select the width of the line as well as the points and also change the point colors so if I can see that there are three points basically that are detected above uh, the 40 uh, amplitude so we can see also here from the arrays that these are the three points and their location and their second derivatives so that's how we can detect any peak from any way from XY graph easily.